All right, guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a while since I've given you guys a build update on the Can-Am X3. So just real quick, it's a 2019 XRS uh, X3. So it's a turboed 172 horsepower model, 72 inch wide. Um, if you guys haven't seen the original one of these, I'll put it right here on the screen. So if you want to check out and see the progress we've done since then. But just real quick, we'll... Uh, go through a walkthrough and tell you everything that's done so starting with the paddles and tires that are on there so those are 14 inch douglas dwt wheels powder coated to match the cage the springs the front end a couple things inside um uh, i was gonna do these control arms but i got them too late i waited too long and then when I pulled off my stock ones, I was like, oh, I already have all these pulled off to do the gusset kit. I might as well order them and do that. So I did those, um, but I didn't have time to get them powder coated. So like it matches the powder coat on the tie rods, the springs, the wheels, the cage, the shifter in there, the springs back here, the radius rods, pull plate. But we'll get more into that in just a little bit. So 30 inch Fullerton Sand Sport tires in the front. In the back, we have a 32 inch um, by 13.5 wide paddle. Those are by scat tracks. Um, in the back here, we have zebros radius arm kit on all three on both sides. We do have their pull plate kit as well here. We do have their stage one spring kit put on there, which makes the ride incredible. Zebros tie rods up front. Again, zebros control arms, zebro springs up here, RSK grill kit. Um, this thing is all lit up at night. We are running a rocket side-by-side -side LED kit as well as lit whips and I'll throw in a little video of what that looks like at night. Right here we have our upgraded shock mount. This is a ZRP and heretic light bar mount. You can see right there if you look real close. Heretic, heretic, however you say that. Um, we do have a DRT front gusset kit so you can see in here we've got our gusset kit there. We've got our gusset kit there there and if you can see it right there so we do have that to strengthen up the whole front end of this car um, same paddles on this side we've got super atv doors we've got 50 cal three inch seat harnesses we've got triple x seats in there we do not have seat heaters unfortunately um, here we've just got some added switches. So we've got our light whips, we've got our light bar, uh, headlights. I think we moved some of these around. I can't remember where the stock placement was, but uh, uh, we've got our rocket whips here. Sport mode, eco mode, steering, four wheel drive, trail, and then our stereo over here. And the reason why I put that there is so the passenger can turn off the stereo if they need to. And then right here, you've got a couple more switches. This one says, turn me on, please. Turn that one on and it'll show you your battery voltage. And I've added these. The rear light is this light bar right here. Interior lights are those pure whites right there. There's one on each side and they light up the whole cab. So for the dash in here, we have a Rockford PMX2 dash with R1 speakers. In the back, we have JL M650 speakers, two of those. Um, we do have two separate JL audio amps and there's a sub, a Rockford sub under the seat there. So we've got a Rockford sub and then a JL amp powering that. They're fully waterproof. And then on that side, you have the JL amp that powers all four speakers. As far as the cage goes, this is a Greens Off-Road cage. Um, he withheld the windshield from me that I paid for and the moonroof. I like the cage. It was a job well done, but uh, I wouldn't recommend him since I didn't have a great experience. Um, so I want to get a moonroof still. I think I'm actually going to post this thing for sale. So I don't think I'll do a moonroof or a windshield, but if I do keep it, I'll end up doing those. Um, on the back here, we have the Can-Am Court Cooler. I have the plug pulled out so that no moisture gets trapped in there. Um, for performance, we have Evo clutching. You can see there the Evo clutching the gold weights, every other one. And then we are tuned by Evo Performance as well. Uh, we are running a full turbo back silver exhaust. And I just love the sound of that exhaust. We have our TMW door bags, 
our rocket street legal kit right there or our rocket light kit that ties into our street legal kit right there i don't have a street legal kit on here yet um i haven't really needed one where we live honestly uh that's really about it as far as mods go um i'm sure i'm probably forgetting something that's why i'm walking around here on the back of this cage i do have two uh whip mounts here so i can run two different style of whips and then on the back middle I do have a spot here for a GoPro as well, and then that light bar that you saw. Anyway, I think that uh, kind of runs down the whole build process on the Can-Am. I know it's not like the most in-depth one you've ever seen. It's not the craziest build, but you know what? I'm very proud of it. I've owned the car for about two years now. Um, I wrecked it the first week I owned it with like less than 100 miles, and took me a while to fix it up I, I wasn't really into fixing it up and i'm really glad that i went with it the way that i did this build has been a lot of fun it's taken us a lot of places currently have 3,000 miles on it i'm going to uh, start it up and let you guys hear how it sounds <laughs> 